leaders because the issue is in leadership. Family requires leader, leadership. Mahali umezaliwa, you need leadership. Let me ask a question today. How many families have leadership? Mutu wa kuogoza wengine. Unajua people say, Bishop, unajua kwetu watu atusikizani. Yes! Because there should be a leader. Wakuabia wengine nyamaza. Usitusi your brother. Hallelujah. Yes, mi kwetu nafranga hivo. Nikisikia fulani, amepigia fulani simu. Agambia, no, stop it. It can't work. There should be somebody. Lazima kuwe na olekaparo buwana. Speak our bunge. That's why your family has a unity. There's no leader. You, brother Mukubwa and a kama, kama nasty bond. Ude wakatikati and a kama, kama grandchild. Everybody anasema kia nataka. And I pray, shiju itafanyaji, wale, the people we are raising here, be a leader. Where you go, ato kia da ulaya, be a leader. Family here about, if you, hallelujah, ata kare balipo na Musa mezuba, alitokea kasema apana, tuwede tuli, ispokuwa Musa sijui nini, kama mungu wagejua siku ya kasema mwe Musa, Retire kidogo, hacha hii kijana ongoze. Kado wa sema, we are well able to take the land. Kwa hivyo siangalia umuri, siangalia whatever, respect your firstborn, respect your second, but now promote leadership in your family. If your firstborn na menyama mabia, now my brother come here, nataka uita mkutano. Wanini? Tukure pamoja. What else? Let's start there. And when you meet as family members, please don't bring a lot of ajida. Maumengi atema kesi na nini First of all, create family fellowship Mukule pamoja Muombe pamoja eh, Watoto wenu Muafudishe neno Arafu muachane Kwa tunabiaka watu Kila mtu waede kwa Wengine ni wakubwa kila mtu waede kwa ke Kama ni wewe Eda kwa ko Tumbaliza ye eda kwa ko Na wewe eda kwa ko Na mabaya kwa ko Hello, you know, sometimes you unakuta, uh, 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 don't bring issues because they are sisters about nini mko hapa. Ukikutani wa sister, rangu wa muambie mume wangu, waliingia njana usiku, akiwa mapua yake mepanuka. Ya nini hiyo sasa? Do you know your sister has nothing to do with that? The only thing atafanya ni apigie your brother simu. Akiwa meharibu. Na ye brother, brother yako apigie brother mkubwa. Aseme dada yetu wanalipigwa Ate hiyo puwa naonekana ni kufia lipigwa ni wea kusema You need to keep leadership Munga bariki Na hiyo ni mahubili kweli Imeingia Yes, wama muna kaka vibaya Unajua vile mmeketi kanisani Muna kaka vizuri But who are you? Where ni nani? Ata nyinyi students Start leadership early enough Sasa kujitu na kuta sasa. Sasa kama sisi wazazi, we are not yet leaders. Unakuta hawa sichana, labda huyu kwa odie, sijui first born, wewe sijui, eh, na kubuka, wewe ni first born or second? Fajik dora hiwe. Wewe ni first. Sisi mama? Ja, kuchu nisalimie kama first born. Yeah, 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 yeah. Udie mkubo wa kwa o. Gai, halaloya. I'm a leader. Wasemi hivi. No, 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 no. Fanya hivi. I am a leader. I'm a leader. Yes. I end up as a kazi wana. Yeah. Yes. Si ukona wengine na kufuata. You need to be a leader. Arusi yako yu arusi ya a leader. Si unaka baba na kuto meba umekuja na kitu kikupo hapa na siyo barun na siyo boro. Hmm. You are brother kwa bia. Nidi yo unanyama nyiki hapa sikiza. You should be a leader. Arusi yako. Kama ni wakovu be a leader. Amen. As you serve food in the evening. Let the food be served. Na adabu. Si wanamoka chakura ovi ovi. Mutikena haka migu juu ya meza. No, no, no. Stop it. Na si. You know. We need to do that friends. 
Because most of our children no kuta fast born they are nakaa kama ana akili. Kana inama hivi tu, kale kadogo. Dia kana unajua wale last born kwa sababu ya udogo hujitetea. Wana kelele nyingi. So unakuta ule last born anapiga ule mkubwa. Na kama ndio mkubwa ndio ni mdogo hana shida and then they grow they grow until the last born appear to be first born and the first born is so quiet Don't worry haya let's let's do this eh Whoever even if you are last born or second born or whatever ukienda uone family yenu is failing don't wait for the first born please do what you can do to the family is it true yes do what you can do to make sure your family has leadership hallelujah na nyinyi mko hapa upendo na nyinyi viongozi mko hapa wa mama na wazee let's have don't just be in the church naona mko very smart na kwako kuna kaa kama hakuna mwelekeo no no don't allow that don't allow that by god's grace by god's wale mumeolewa na mkaoana facilitated it you know uh, one time there's a man who complained uh, there's a lady who complained a lot i noticed one day mume wake amelala nje mama mzee amelala nje kama no that man slept in the car akasema bishop it is comfortable to sleep in my car than sleeping in my house because of because of my wife Nani ni mzuri? Mupei Mike bwana hata waongoza sifa lakini kaze. Hello. Bwana asifiwe. Mzee akiebia mtoto pereka hii sahani kitchen. Mama anasema ba direct usimtume. Si ruhusu aketi. You know, another kind of thing. O shaitani yeshio. Eh? Allow children to know huyu mzee uko naye is their father na hawana mwingine sasa sasa zingine watoto mnakaa kama watoto wenu mtatafutia mzee mwingine mtatafutia watoto baba mwingine uh, it's becoming a problem now a problem let me give up there was an issue in my office one time imam ya rumoka and I've, i i i met the three people moja ni mvurana mge the other the other two the other two are sisters and then they said bishop we have an issue here We have an issue here. Our mother misled us. Unjua watoto wako wachaga hawajui wakati wanapotozwa. Because baba yao alikuwa mrevi. Mimi I always thank God for my mother. Baba alikuwa mrevi. By my mother could tell us that Timo this is your dad. Hata kama amekuambia jambo gumu akiwa mrevi obey this is your dad. Sasa ni gabo akati mchukue hizo ngombe usiku. Nimetoka shule saa kumi those days in you is kuti kuna mifereji ya maji na boy ngombe upeleke kama kilomita 4 zikule nyasi kama masaa matatu ndaudi usiku and sometimes i want to tell them that um kindly obey i would rather talk to your dad later but obey and my mother would say aliye na baraka zenu ni huyu mzee mnaona mrevi it was i came to discover and i give god praise kwamba kwetu sasa Uh, nafikili baba litubariki we have no issues praise the lord now listen carefully sasa huyu in that family you know i'm still preaching topic it you hamuna aya mimi ni bishop wenu kuna wakati mzee anaongea mambo ya boma bwana hii mambo ya madhao na ruka utaipata nikiongea tafuta mali ruka iko na thesalonike you know sisters wa mama mko hapa sikizeni wacheni hii mambo tu ya ukanisa ambao hatupati kwa nyumba ukanisa mwingine mko naye ambao is not applicable nataka ukanisa ambao is applicable applied church si kanisa ambao sio applied kama u mama na ni mama wa kanisa An, anatusi baba watoto wakisikia wakata kwa chief alipoenda kwa chief mzee ameketi watoto wako hapo 
mama aliita huyu mzee kila jina baada ya chifu ah na akabia watoto huyu baba yenu hana akili mzee sasa unajua kuna kati mama akiongea sana huwezi ongea kwa maana huwezi by nature ukiona mzee anaongea sana mama akiongea ujue hiyo kaptabia si original amechukua kwa bypass nao nao mzee akasema hivi akaambia shimo shina umbaya lakini nataka kwa kusema neno huyu mama kitabu tuachana sababu naona tunaachana anafikiri mimi ni mlevi sina akili eh we mama hao watoto mimi ni baba yao kama si baba yao kwa kuelewa sasa nitakuwa baba yao kwa njia nyingine wataelewa later they can have another father but hao watoto kila atakaye kuzaa mtoto aitwe jina lako hataishi mama akasema murevi shindwa wewe mzee akaenda Now these children observe later. Any of them amezam toto muschana akaita mama yake hutoka tu analia kidogo anakufa. Wa kwanza kakufa, wa pili watatu. They said it appears the drunkard is affecting us. Tuliaita mlevi. Then wakaja kabia nipe namba ya simu ya nipe namba ya baba yako. Nikapiga baba akusubukia. Akasema bishop ah mimi hata niwarurumuka. Ah, ni wewe eh. Atana kutafuta, kuna kitu ataka uhubiria watu. Nafikiri ni hiyo topic although hakumaliza. <laughs> Hello. Nikaambia watoto wako akasema bishop, waambie waje ni wabariki. Sasa wa watoto hata ana akili ya kubariki baba. Moja ako na socks. The socks. Nikaambia atafadhali mtafute mtu giri 10 au giri 20 kama hamuna ni wakopeshe. Muende paka subukia. Simza isema you like it or not I'll be your dad. Mtajua mimi ni baba yanu. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Therefore twataka wale wasichana that we are raising because some of them don't know the importance of family value. Na wale wa mama na wazee tuko nao twasema we want to see applied church in your business applied church in your children applied church in your family system ili huduma hii iwe na maana before Jesus aje kutuchukua haleluya kama ulikuwa unaandika notes andika hizo mambo nimeongea hiyo ndio top hiyo ndio hiyo ndio mahubiri part A sasa niko na part B mnafikiri cha hubiri hiyo ni part A Haya, twende pati B sasa. <laughs> Hallelujah. Unajua sivi sivi nzuri kujifanya kwa madhabahu. Sasa kitu naongeaga ukweli. Eh, hasa nije hapa nijifanye. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hapana tutaongea saa zingine. Hallelujah. Na our topic our topic number two kwa maana hata hiyo ya kwanza sio msiharibu. Musi Nasikia Brown. Tunaongeaga hiyo. Sasa kijana kama unaanza ukioa Munajua the new world order. Now, and that's why chairman we we must have meetings with girls and boys. The new world order has no value. Your family. Iko na value yourself. Unaambiwa eh Joy, what you have been taught in university, they never taught you about it's very hard. Usikie kwenu zile zile courses compulsory za gender. They don't talk about value your family. They talk about gender equality, gender equality, self, self worth. Be yourself, survive, jikinge, be defensive. Sasa ya hawa, sichana mnaona hapa. Hawa, wakiolewa. Mume ya kuwabie edda jikoni unipiki. Just check, ask them. Hello? Baba Gaudi, ask Jerry. Ask these girls. Leo dugu akuoe. Akwambie eda jikoni unipikie. As Jamima. Atakwambia, you know, to to to. Anasema, "Why do I have to cook for you?" Kutoka wakati imamba ya rights, 
kuna kijana mmoja wa pasta wetu Muranga unajua Muranga tunapika kaa ile maharagwe ikikauka tunapiga dirasa kazi wa rais sikijadi kuna nguvu muka wa pasta mmoja atakababia fulani nisaidie hii kazi akamwambia mam i don't have to do it it's my right to choose mam this child labor language mama hajasikia ile mtu alikuwa anaoka naye huyu aisema hasa hii haitafanya hii tutaonana huyu mama ilibidi baba igirie alisema hapana huyu tutapigana mpaka ajue mimi ni nani nikiaraje ila idio <laughs> chakro atakula idio tutauza tupate school fees musifikirie sasa wamefuka shule wakija mnawapembeleza wanarudi Unaona there's an issue here there's an issue here there's an issue here so we need as a church kuwa na mikutano to teach our values as God taught us amen kama kuna kitu hawataki new world order is family governmental order actually wana yondora ni vijana mnajua kuna bible imetolewa ingine ya about haina hiyo haina Genesis juu chapter 2 chapter 3 haina Corinthians chapter 11 hapo juu wameondoa some group asema no you know some group the, the other day wali enda kawa kawa wes in a class ya shule wakauliza sasa tusome first Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1 to 3 inasema na shukuru a Corintho kwa maana muliweka tradition reason of Odisha kwa sababu Mungu die kichwa cha Kristo. Kristo die kichwa cha mume. Mume die kichwa cha mke. Sawa. Wakauliza kama hiyo ni ukweli. Ni watu wagapi hapa your mama kwa na kichwa? Two third ya watoto ni wa single mothers. Asama, excuse me my mom does not have a head. And then they said the Bible is a wrong book. They are saying it in the class. Na hapo ndio mpaka mtoto wako boarding anakuja kifuga shule one week na mrudisha. Do you know watu jua watoto wetu? We don't know them. You don't know them. We don't know them. And that's why we need to teach our values. It was in the class. Na wanaruhusiwa. Kuna kijana hapa alikuwa karibu kuua babu yake, babu babu nikaletewa akasema bishop kuja kuniangalia kijana kanguka chini already ameingia satanism na costrad 4 no strad 5 alikuwa shule moja hapa bobu yakajo wakalipiwa tunawaambia mlipiwa watoto waende camp sasa like now tunasema mlipiwa watoto waende well spring tukae nao siku ine tuafudishe values Huwezi pata hiyo pesa lakini utalipa ya trip. Huyu sasa walikuwa na trip wanalipa shilingi elfu tatu afikiri elfu mbili. Why the museum whatever. But the teacher the teacher in charge of the trip is a satanist. Already wamepanga. Do you know that boy said bishop si tulienda museum tukada pali pengine and then the teacher arranged with the satanist. Unajua hapo toka na network they are over. Kwa hiyo trip huyu kijana niambia I remember sikubuki wengine I remember we were recruited watoto watano Kaka niambia Bishop shukuru Mungu nimekobolewa wale wengine wane wali you know hiyo kitu I remember exactly the way boys asaba wale wengine wameenda kuwa wazazi wao because the first assignment Satan is give na wazazi mwe very careful the first assignment Satan is give is that we need your mother then we need your father but you may not know it but makingoli because what they normally do sitasema hapa unakuta uko kwa bathroom unaanguka tu simbogo na unaumia unasema aliangoka kwa bathroom backbone kavujika the cause of death is backbone but they are the cause Uliko na drive gari kadia arrest. Hello. Praise the Lord. Ulikuwa umelala. Kuna mmoja aniambia bishop wa kuna wa aniambia bishop you people mnaignore hii maneno. Sisi tunapewa uwezo wana 
waenda wakianguza scorpions anaanguza moja machakos eodoret scorpion i am a bishop last week tuliwa mama tulimwangushia scorpion nobody know it came from her ikamuma madawa haigesaidia she died who can think is satanism I, 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 I wish that woman would be here tulikuwa na mtoto wake aliongea akisikia so do you, you praise the lord and that's why we can't dare lose our families hallelujah we need to have this moment kwa bai sasa watoto wetu watakuwa napika wazazi mwe mnaona na kufunga tunawaambia prayer and fast ni kama tunawapembeleza now this day neno ambao Yesu alisema aina kama hii haiendi ila kwa prayer and fasting i tell you let me say this again kulea mtoto na afauru na ah ah tell you you need to pray and fast now things are difficult make things happen make things happen that's our topic short topic i know tuta uh, tuta share to kidogo by god's grace we need to make things happen by the grace of god kitu kimoja ambacho ni cha maana sana kama tutafanya mambo itendeke tunahitaji kitu kinaitwa integrity integrity ni uwezo wa kufanya mambo wakati ufaao pahali panapofaa na jia inayofaa ulitarajiwe uwe kanisa saa mbili you are there ulitarajiwa uwe smart you are smart ulitarajiwa uongoze sifa uliongoza ulitarajiwa ucheze gitaa ulicheza ulitarajiwa upage vyombo you are there ulitarajiwa yeah, yani you do things rightly hata kama hujui i want to say something even if you don't know a lot why don't you be a man of integrity ulituambia utakuja ulikuja tulikubaliana tutatoa ukatoa tulisema tukutane tulilie mungu ulikuweko one thing that inasababisha Mungu akutumie kutimiza mambo fulani is because of integrity you are a man about una nidhamu isiyo ya kawaida let me say this by God's grace have you ever seen a sister who prays and worship a lot a brother ambao mnamwona anemtumishana lakini hana integrity fulani ana tabia ingine ambao hamwezi apatana naye Hamwezi enda naye siku mbili mtakosana haweki masaa haweki nidhamu haweki maagano mulianza kabiashana mulianza kukaa na yeye mkasema wewe ununue breakfast na wewe ununue lunch na wewe ununue supper haya wakati wako kufika lunch hakuna unapata hata kama you are worshiper huna integrity tulikuwa tukutane brother tuongee haya mambo fulani hukuja na hukusema have you seen such people in the church haji na hasemi watu wana kiroho nyingine ambayo tujalitoa wapi tulisema tuje kesha umelala hata kama Mungu angetaka kutumia uponye mtu kwa kesha angetaka uombee safari ya watu wako na shida mahali God cannot use you hello praise god hallelujah Bwana asifiwe. Unajua nilirabia ni watu ukienda unasema you know I was so happy today with that's a bishop Leo Sisomi na nyinyi kuna nimeenda kanisa fulani. And yes I was out I, I felt so so good nikimwambia enda uambie nimewasalimia. Sa bishop nitawasalimia. Hello praise God. Hallelujah. You know I come up here do you know nitakuwa hiyo kanisa leo sana ni ni kule whatever I be oh na ku kitabu ni kuja wasalimie I felt so good na nikasikia hiyo hiyo sababu imebarikiwa Now listen kama angeenda haniambi na ananiita pastor wake that is wrong mimi si pastor wake hivyo Hello praise God mimi nikienda mnaambiwa na bishop hayuko ako Botswana na bishop hayuko akobusia si ni kweli wewe hauko husemi kitu kimoja na msicheke i'm speaking very seriously just try ukose ibada mara kama ine na husemi utaona 
there is something affecting you because anointing haifanyi kazi hivyo two cannot work together unless they agree anointing requires flow hallelujah and you, you see integrity is very important eh kuwa let me put it this way uwe na sense of effectiveness sense sense ya effectiveness sense hiyo na maana imesha hivi uwe na nia ya kufanya mambo kwa jia inayofaulu you see mtu yote ambaye like now unafagia kanisa unafagia tu ufagie unaunda nyumba unaunda tu dio ude have you ever known something na wewe naambia watu hivi ukiangalia mijengo ukiangalia mijengo lakini hapa hii ni plaster imepigwa hapa the same content and the same material where is there pair mtu apige bila sense of effectiveness the same money same material apiga hivi hivi ukute within two days kuna crack ukienda kupiga unasikia hiyo simiti haikushika watu ambao hawana nia ya kufanya mambo kwa jia inayofaulu kama ni biashara such people hata kama Mungu angetaka kukutumia ako na problem na wewe because angetaka kupatia 100000 kuna mahali angetaka kukutumia ufaulu sana Hallelujah. Kuna wakati what you know you know we share something about business. Uni mama we share uni mama biashara. Sema mama mama mama. You know my sister alianza akiwa kachana kadogo hivi kana furaha kana lakini akana pesa. But I admire your sense of effect. Mzee iko wapi? Sina ubaya. Ninaanza historia but hata kabla hujamuoa. Yangu ni ndefu. Hata wewe ni product ya uma, si unasema umwambia ni, ni product ya maombi ya unabii ubarikiwe e, si mama hata wewe huu uh, uh, ni muke wa ule unachokuwa watu wanaona dada huu bisho alisema hivyo ni wanani nataka kumsaidia baada ibada ako na mwenyewe na mwenyewe zaidi ni Mungu haleluya usiye niambia hivi walianza hivi simple tuogeni ukweli simple wanapewa tu pesa kidogo na NGO sijui microfinance and that microfinance ilikuwa inaangalia sense of effectiveness anaangaliwa tuona hiyo 1500 tumie tuone akatumia ikawa mzuri eh mkagaswa gapi nyingine eh yeah? mara mbili ya hiyo wakafuatilia wakaona ako na bidii ukagoswa nyingine gani wakaogezwa haleluya praise the name of the lord eventually sasa naenda bank anapewa kitu anafauru that's how people rise in the church wapendwa keti tu sasa kiniambia bishop niombe nataka kwenda china wakiwa na kidaba baki ngoli na wengine eh sina kumbuka kulikuwa nakaa kwa container hapa hali uwe lakini huyu mzee na wengine ukiwaangalia eh baba ngoli hutaenda na yeye kama huna akili ya kufauru ah mtako sana wao tunafanya kazi na hii tunakaa na yeye and that's why we might mimi napeleka kitu mzuri yeye anajua anaambia watu hii mkiweka bishop atatoa na ni kweli asifai ni ada hasara so you see that says did you start a business ukiwa na nia ya kufauru sana in your mind that's very important hallelujah bwana asifiwe sana because ahadi za Mungu hufanya kazi vizuri kwa mtu aliye na hiyo even prophecy works well kwa mtu aliye na integrity and number two, uko na sense of effectiveness kwamba Mungu akinipa tu baraka hii atajua kuna mtu anajua kutii na kutunza Mungu akinipa tu hii boda boda ni akomenya kuna mtu ambaye ako tayari kumti sense of effectiveness nisalimieni mnaingiza hiyo saa hiyo natakiwa kuwa hata nikivuka mahubiri umehubiriwa hakuna mtu atakiwa kuwa maskini fuata watu wakaniza si mimi nawajua sasa mna hii hakuna mtu hapa sijui you are not strangers wengine tulianza na nyinyi mkiwa eh wazuzi 
habari yako mtu wasichana wandogo hao habari hebu simama eh hey, kuja hapa nisalimie watu wengine na pedaka tu kuwasalimia hala loya haya haya ya 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 pigie makofi ya loya ama dada kama huyu msichana wetu huyu mama yake akiwa haya alikuwa ananiambia bisho we kubuka wakati wa mazishi ya baba ya huyu ulisema wewe ndiye baba yake unajua mama yake alinitisha sana akambia bishop kama ni uongo video ikuje kai sasa isikuje sasa wakati wa dawa ni nani jikaza sana hai we sasa huyu i remember those old days kukawa na shida ya wazazi ni kama hana mwenyewe but she had a sense of effectiveness akaanza kabia shara kuuza viatu lakini si pesa ako naye lakini sense of effectiveness akajilipia cpa 1 2 3 4 zinafika kabi 6 na akisoma ako na sense of effectiveness anafauru akajilipia degree ya bachelor of commerce wazazi walikuja kucherekea degree hawajalipa anything na nikabia shaya via tu kekoba nyinyi wengine wezi enda kekoba ukachaka matope na wewe ni wa form 3 muheshimiwa <laughs> muhesha <laughs> hello hiyo kabia shaya via tu hiyo hiyo akajilipia masters in commerce barikiwa endelea kwa effective god can work kwa mtu ambaye anania ya kufauru na kufanya kazi kwa jai nao fauru haleluya na mbadiliko apendwa sio watu wa, katika watu kumi labda watu watatu tu ndio wako na hiyo ee fuata watu do you know kuna kijana mmoja ambaye nakaa anaitwa sio maina you know estate yetu ilikuwa green estate baba kingoli ilikuwa watu wako na iko inawekwa hii mawe mawe so that boy akaenda kwa one of our workers uh, one of the neighbors akasema mama i know you are busy nipatie kazi ya landscaping and ground maintenance mimi nitakuwa tu na naweka watu wale tunakaa nao wengine nyumba zao kiingia unaona kama ingia Scotland zinaundwa kuna watu huda nyumba zao jameni kuna mmoja alijenga neighbor nikamwambia baba baba kaita baba jua baba jimi ana ile nyumba jeka kama hiyo umebarikiwa unakuwa hiyo nyumba mtu amejeka nyumba na, na miezi 5 sita paka tukaona kama setu sio nyumba zetu ni grade dota grade san hey guy we Mtu ambaye anasema ninajenga nyumba yangu. Watu wakija wakiambua ni yangu wanaona akili yangu. The same man una unazapewa. Naziishe. Praise the Lord. Hazo kijana unamwachia ground number one ni dhamu. Ukimwacha kwa compound hata kama hauko, hata kama umeacha house girl, hata watoto hai ntafi akona nidhamu inaohitajika kwa estate hutaona kioba maji kwa nyumba au akiongea anafanya kazi akiwa sema nifungulie gate niende ukija unaona kama uko London do you know neighbors wakapenda that boy now hawezi kosa nyumba kama maelfu kampani yake iko na branch dhome kahawa shukari the boy is very rich hello kuna mmoja ni pea kazi ya kusupply mawe he do you know nikiwa na mjengo na karori kale mnaanza kale kaisusu kale kanakuwa kazee sana kanakaa hivi kama kataka kwenda japan kwao akanimwagia mawe nikasema maana maadaru we lakini ile ngumu baba kingori so bishop he ndio ilikuwa ataka na akapiga bishop wacha nikumwagia ile mayo nataka utanilipa tu neighbors saw that already meona neighbors walio jenga ni ana bishop nimepata favor from kwako sasa ni na favor bishop nikifanya kazi na wewe ni nani tabarikiwa akapigiwa simu na mp mmoja akapiga kucha hapa kijana akabasikiza 
ni mwagie material mawe ya 450,000 hii ni pesa within 3 4 days amemwaga classic akabua wewe i will introduce you to other mps na mijengo yangu yote kenya ndio utakuwa supply the man is rich wewe tunakupatia kazi hata kufagia hapa tunakupa wewe kina uko na company ya welding unapewa dish ya bili unakula pesa kwanza wadugu wabaya wadada wabaya fuku ra 10 unakula ah hakuna mtu atakiwa kuwa maskini kama uko na nia ya kufauru nia nini na uko na integrity pigeni yesu makofi that's why kitabu cha efeso hiyo maubi na vita tosha leo hiyo hiyo inatosha au no au tuogeza nyingine tuogeza nyingine unajua kama ingekuwa sehemu na mgeni hasa break mkunywa kachai mrudi tuogeze nyingine tuogeze nyingine kimna una una patikana tu sadi peke tukimta jana so bishop dege shagi geria tumetura haya haya hebu tuangalia efeso 5 verse 9 to edapo mbele nasema kwa maana tunda la nuru ni katika wema wote na haki na kweli for the fruit of, of the spirit is in all goodness righteousness and truth did you, did you see that tunda la roho si small s capital s roho rio jazwa the fruit of the spirit that you received ni katika wema haki na ukweli haya muki ha, haya tuende katika mhm mm muki hakiki ni nini impedezao bwana fighting out what is acceptable to the lord that we don't just do things we do the acceptable semeni acceptable mhm mm fighting out leo tukupatia 1000 toa fungu la 10 na sadaka hiyo pesa weka kwanza weka asimu una pesa weka kwanza usitumie weka usipate roho hiyo pesa wewe weka so that you can have time to fight out what is acceptable because mungu bible says baraka za bwana hufanya mtu atajirike na utajiri sio na uchungu umepata 100000 is a blessing this money should make me rich first of all nitimize agano langu na mungu nimetimiza sasa let me stay like i don't have this money I want to fight out what is acceptable because I should be blessed. And then what else now? Verse 12. Are you still there? Nasemaje? Eh? Wara musishirikiane na matendo ya ya sio za ya giza. And have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. Verse 12 Kwa kuwa yanao tendeka kwao kwa siri ni aibu hata kuyanena lakini hebu tu ende verse 14 Hivyo husema amka wewe usinziae ufufuke katika wafu na Kristo atakuangaza is rising from works of darkness rising from unfruitfulness rising from failure mungu inaliganisha hiyo na rising from death awake you who is asleep arise from the dead and christ will give you light verse 15 basi angalieni sana jinsi mnavyo enenda we need to look at that don't just leave Be very careful. Bible Bible want you to have the details. Be careful the way you walk, not as fools but wise. Hallelujah. Verse 16 sema mkiukopo wakati kwa maana zamani hizi ni za uovu, ni za uovu. Redeeming time because the days are evil. 
This, this is a very deep thing we need to learn. One thing that, that we, ukiwa mtu ambaye anataka kufauru sana, kitu kimoja ambao kina kusubua, ni kwaba muda hakuna. Sio baba, muda ni fuchache. Inaf, inafika six, karibu uombe, jua isimame, kama wakati wa nani, wa Joshua. Hii, baba, sayu, tiyo, Diyo naona governor megia kuduka yako. Governor sijui wakitui. Ataka kununua vitu ya 2 million. Mungu. Siwogeze siku. Because now. And then you discover. Wale watu wako na biu kidogo. Program ya maisha huwa pana. Unaangalia. Mutu wangalia. The next 10 years. Nitakuwaje. One thing you look at that. Unaangalia inchi. Unaangalia resources. Unaangalia inflation. Unaangalia value ya mambo. Hello, praise God. You know, the other day, tuko tuna dipa dege kweda kisumu. The turn ticket, 27,000. 30,000. Dege hiyo tuko tuna ipa fukumi na bili. Kweda na kurudi. Ikipada 12,000. Now, inalekea kuwa triple. Nikawiza nilipedeka kwa na kigali. Kigali hapa, hapa, hapa. One hour. One hour. 79, ilikuwa 76,000 cheapest. Kenya ya wish. Luanda air, 102,000 kwa na hapa kigali. It's expensive kwa na hapa kuliko radan. Nikawiza tulikuwa, tulikuwa busia. Nikawiza Kenya ya wish kutoa kisumu tunarobi. Kisumu hapa. Nikawa bishop, you'll be shocked. One way is 30,000. Kenya ya wish. Sasa mtu anawenda biyo. Ukisikia hiyo bay, unasema, I should redeem time. Days are evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, mulisikia sasa, watu kina unachazia uchumi, eh? Sita kwa majina. Some rich people in Kenya wameweka a lot of dollar. A lot. A lot. Sasa, shiringi diyo inaanguka. Sidiyo? Dollar inapanda. Euro inapanda. Wana ambao wameweka pesa. Do you know, like this is, this is tuna accountability za dollar. Moja ya kikope na moja ya e-development. Lakini watu wakagi dola sana, pastor. Mbajibitu, wakagi dola sana. Right now, kama uliweka dola, uliweka ikuwa na exchange ya 70 shillings. Na sasa mpesa gapi? 150. Sidiyo? Siko juu? Kuna watu sahi. Wanasema hala, hala loya. Tunape? Kwa mana they operate na euro na dora. Anatoa tu akichange ana command. Like now wana watu wako UK. Akichukua loan huko. Aseme anajeka Kenya. Oh they are really building. Because pound. Eh? Pound moja. Moja. Shiriki moja. Pound moja uigereza. Ni one eight or something. Wakati kibake walikuwa minutes of 1976-75. Paudi likuwa sijuu shiringi shirini. Kuna wakati kuikuwa sijuu shiringi ine. Wakati Kenyans hawakuwa na haja kwa da ladan, watu walikuwa na shopping ladan. Wakati President Nyerere likuwa na abiyo wa Tanzania, mukitaka kwa da ladan, musiede Britain, and then in Nairobi, Nairobi ilikuwa one of the most clean cities in the world. Ii bahati mnaona ilikuwa imeja lami. Ukiwa na mende, kukruj kwa nyumba, kajo inakuje na kupigia ndawa. Kukitokea panya around, kajo inauwa haraka. Ukiagalia bahati sasa, ata mukuru kwa jenka ni kuzuri. Actually, eda kwa Ruben. Kwa Ruben, about the Islam, is now becoming better than bahati. Wamekewa lami, wamejegao hospitali 
si uru adiweka rami kila pahali eda mkuru kuna rami siwe jimewekwa the other day street rights zimewekwa waodi wanawekewa sisi tu tunaharibu tunaharibu nikauliza watu wakaju kwa nini baada kuna maji wakasema hapa tunakata maji siku ine. kwa maana hakuna faida mnaleta watu wa bahati hawalipi walikataa kaekoa mita habari yenu tuko baha nikaenda kuchukua title nikaenda kaambia bishop is it title this adora makadara whatever sabahati bahati hazuja hatujatoa titles kuna siasa nyingi he hey. hey. mungu asaidie haleluya so ukiangalia hali eh yeah? arafu amuke baba ukifanya mungu asikia mungu anasema i should redeem time days are evil Hodi wakati wasikia mtoto wa miaka tatu ako na ugojo wa shukari. Mtoto wa miaka kumi ako na kansa. Things that never never happened. Hello. Miaka 70s kusikia Kenya mtu ako na kansa ikuwa gumu. Gumu kabisa. The other day kuna MP wa Yodolet alisema ukasema kuna dawa inapigwa viasi ya nyandarwa ambao ilisimamishwa all over the world na inajulikana kwa baureta kansa na serikali haikusimamisha inapigwa viasi all over hasa nyandarwa nyandarwa now is reading cancer is it true it's reading hello the days are evil one usip you know let me tell the truth nilikuwa conference chair the monja wetu to nyandarwa ya bishop can you pray for me why am a sinner in which mana kuna dawa tumepewa pande ile tunaweka viazi inaza sana lakini usiazi ukipangusa ukikorusa kidogo inaoza haraka bishop mimi najua hiyo viazi si nzuri so nina shaba ya kando ambao napata viazi eh tunao tumia mimi na familia yangu nasikia i'm doing evil kuuzia watu wengine viazi ambao siwezi kula that was true. Pata kanga kwenu. Wewe ukale warusha kwenu. She said bishop, there's something wrong somewhere. We are not caring about people. Hello? Yo dio viasi tunakula hapa every day every day. Si alibu biashara viasi lakini the true this. Uh, kuna company moja isema na import from South Africa. I think they saw the problem. They saw the other day kuna mzuko alikuwa ameenda hapo 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 um, soko mjinga watu wanaona anachukua viazi anafanya hivi ana imijite inaanza kuwa dark anasema rudisha mzungu he knows what they are doing this are evil redeeming time kwa ba msichana huyo namuona sana mtoto within the next three years hata saa hii ha hii rika hebu hebu rika hebu simama kuja hapa Wasichana wazuri wa bishop kai mimi nimebarikiwa na wasichana wazuri sio aje wewe hey they are and they are very good look at these girls they are making notes we need to encourage brothers kama hapo kwa kwa kumekawa na umerika yao hawaadiki tena kuna shida tuangalie sasa hii tukague kanisa ni wanaume wangapi rikao are making notes here ah lakini walibadilika 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 hapa ni kuzuri sasa no this 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 young girls but this girl undashaga mwanaume rika baba franco neighbor anamtaka ukauliza wanachokoza kwa hata kwa gari wanaambua nakupenda si ndio kasema tabia baya shidwe kana is it true yes wakati wa miaka ingine hao tuko sema ni watoto how do you sasa wana windwa? Desa ivo. Sasa baba bango na pole ya shiro, desa. Kwai karawega. Kama aka kalebu, aka kaidere ya desa ivo. Shiro eko. Ora ira ko. 
I'm redeeming time. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is the end. I'm going to be Sasa sasa zimeisha sasa. Kitu some list we hapo. But I just want to say we need to make things happen. Now I've just introduced this. We need to have that sense. Let me say this. Jambo lingine ni kwamba uh is what is Psalms 90 verse 12. Psalms 90 verse 12. Aha. Uh -huh. Psalms 90 verse 12 inasema hivi. Inasema basi utujulishe kuzihesabu siku zetu tujipatie moyo wa hekima Normally this issue ya kuhesabu siku Ukiangalia Psalms 90 inaongea kuhusu the, the the limitation how fragile how weak miri ya watu iko ati ni maua leo kesho Amen. In leo keso You know, it, you know, Psalms 90 talks about na inarudia sana. And then says, conclusion. Aha. Uh Mungu -huh. wetu tujulishe kuzihesabu siku zetu. Inaongea kuhusu the limitation of time. Unapata siku zako za kusema wewe ni mwanaume. Sasa mimi ni mwanamke. Wadada vile mnajipaba hapa na manyonya. Siku zako za kusema mimi ni chache sana. Even your grandmother last year likuwa hivyo. When you look at your mother wakata likuwa kaschana mia likuwa natembea hivi. Akienda soko. Siku za mainama. Asema yesu ni chukuo kitaka. Hallelujah. That's why there's no pride. There's no pride in the way you appear. The pride is if you number your days and apply your heart to wisdom. The issue is Hallelujah. Sio vile tunakuona unajua na bila vijana wanao vijana wana wanaambia hivi. Sometimes vijana wajui the only pride uko nao ni umri na mwili. Pesa ni ya baba yako, hewa ni ya mugu. Nguo umenunuliwa zote. Sadu ni baba na mama yako au shushu. Alafu unatembea na wewe unatembea bila wazazi kama unajiringa hivi. Hakuna kitu uko nacho chako. You need to you need to think and be humble. Yeah, we gonna ako second year university. Ata huna huna. Ata certificate ya degree. No na asa kuvuta bangi. Niko university. How unko how uko university? Hatuju si si tu si tu najua pata first class honors na utoke kuwa na akiri. Unajua is one thing to have to have a degree is another thing to be wise. Dick. Yes, I visited a lady lafiki yetu watoto ako watoto watatu wabili kutoka KU lafiki kuli wako kanyumba wanafagia they have the knowledge but not wisdom wisdom is ability to use that knowledge mpaka dunia ikupatia space ya income and resources kwa mba siku soma tu bacha of education I can change it na niaze shule yangu na watu waje na walipe school fees na nipate pesa Wisdom is applying that. Wisdom is capacity to become, not to be. You know, what we you are capacity to be themselves. That's what you have been taught. Be you are. Sasa be yourself. What do you say? Na nini? Na wea ni mutu muvivu. Na wea ni mutu una. Una jomu tu ujirudia. Una kuta ni nakaujika fulani. If I be myself, na kwa meta kwa mujinga sana. If I be myself, ni nakaa kama shosho ya agwa likuwa na rara masatu wa divo. If I be myself, Nimi ni mukari. Takufuza customer. <laughs> ni yada kesi moja ya dada moja wakadisa. Kambia bishop. Hii kesi umekuja. Nina ya matuko nini? Kama ni gerudi miaka tano nyuma. Hapa kuge kuwa na kesi. Uu ngemaliza. Na nini? Aha uu. Huwa kekuwa esi uu. Kata haka itia mwono <laughs> You know, if you be yourself, kuna mutu akiwa yourself, where's who's a duka if a uru? Kuna mutu akiwa yourself, where's the lawa toto? Kuna mutu akiwa yourself, where's the kuwa mume wa mutu? Wewe ni wale watu ambao maubile yako? Ni yako kaa peke yako? You are a funny creature and very strange. Kukaa 
Hana mwingine is very hard. Ukua peke yako, you can end up with somebody's wife. That's why <clears throat> being yourself, see buyer, but the issue is, is that yourself helping you. Kama kuwa wewe, ni kurora mpaka saaine, wapa, ni mwana mpaka saaine kwa nini? Hey, I'm myself. Utakuwa na jaa huko. Nani atakuwa na mwana muka na mwana saaine? Dio napika chai. You know when you are yourself, unasikia, when you are yourself, you don't care about others. Muzea hame amuka asubui, hame pitia kazini. You know there was there, what my managers, unapata, anakura breakfast kazini. Ako na muschana meyajiri, personal assistant, anayejua, yare mayaya anakura. Kwa maana, muke, kire ako nacho ni certificate ya marriage. Unajua kuna wadada kio, na lewa wadada mba wigiria ya mungu wa saidie. Kuna wadada wa kio lewa, hamefika. A Mrs. Garoi, apana, hautaki Mrs. Garoi, hatu ataka wisdom of that. Hautaki wito mume wa mutu, Mimi ni mewawa, unaona apana, tota kujua. Mume, uu muke, unasema, ako mureka pete. How? How is the family? Teach us to number our days that we may gain hearts of wisdom. That's very important by the grace of God. We call that moyo applied hearts. Kuna moyo wangu urio toka inje na ukajulikana. Kuna kitu kimetoka dani yangu na nikawa talented. Kuna kitu kimetoka dani yangu. I'm living Maisha ina wito wisdom life. Wisdom life. Hallelujah. Kitu kigine as you finish now is aha. Buwana suwa sana. Hallelujah. Na kuna kitu kita timing. Same any timing. Kuna wakati you sense timing ya jaufrani mefika and you can't resist. Wakati mamba ya 10,000 sita ilifika wapendwa nilikuwa nasikia na yaza I can die here this is unasikia chika mwiki kitu na kuchikaka wewe time the timing ya jabo ya mugu kifika you are so vigorous so much powerful for it ni majida jabo hili ukiagalia exodus chapter 3 verse 3 Exodus chapter 3 verse 3. Inasema nini? Let's see very quickly. Inasema. Now. Moses has seen the burning bush. And what is this man doing? The Bible says. I will now turn aside and see. Say after me. I will now turn aside and see. Kuna wakati God will release a sign of a specific season that is starting. Moses haja one vibereni. This is spectacular. This is unique. It's a remarkable thing. It's as if God is starting a new season in my life. It's as if kire ni megojea all the years. I could I could sense kuna kitu kikobera oh is starting. Asema wacha nigeuke sasa niangalie ishara hii bwana asifiwe the season ikifika you must turn and see kuna kitu mungu atakuchokoza nacho moses said it was a great sight hold moses habari yako Habari ya maisha fungua hiyo diary fungua bible barikiwa haleluya <laughs> niko nataka kusalimia nikaona uge tupokea salamu nikaona acha nikoa niko haleluya bwana asifiwe let me donate this water to you mpatie image hapana akunywe yangu alafu baada ibada uniwekee maji ingine sasa umeku sasa ni no make sure memaliza hiyo yangu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm okay. I'm okay now. Now, you see Moses saying, let me turn aside and see great sight. Great something French. Watu wingi mnaona wameenda bali. 
One day they turned aside to see a great sight. Unajua mungu ukikaka kuna mambo ata kuchokosa nae. Kama mungu alikusudia wini. Yeah. Utada Japan business. Utaona yu kitu as you live ina kuchokosa. Ni kitu kinatokea tu. Kinatokea tu. He? Eh? Unakuta kuna interest uko naye ya kitu. Kina kuchokosa. But you need to turn aside and see it. And see it. Sometime is a sense in your heart. Unasikia mwoni mwako. Rome takatifu kila na kueka. Ni kitu kikubwa. Because signs can be internal or external. Within or without. Hallelujah. Wanjua tulikuwa na Brown akacheza keyboard. Mabishop alikuwa mtetebele kwa mazishi fulani akasema Bishop who is that boy? Bishop moja kutoka sa moja kubwa sana kikuyu. And then Bishop Shaw akasema oh Bishop that's a gifted akabe Bishop. Makao kama no get her right. You know if you bring that boy Sino wadini yetu hii I urge tu Na nitamuliza Na tumekuwa busi akabia Ukisasa kitaa sama Bishop Uyo kijana gaka kitaa chini Mampatia iyo kitu, kitu ingine Iyo kitu ingine Iyo So still spotting at you So those are things that come Unakuta kwamba We hata unashuguri You are just Brada kini kuna kitu kina kuchokosa God has interest Na wada watu hugeuka waone Umesikia dani yako ni kama Mungu anakuweka kitu utakuwa na biashara kubwa Turn around watch that sign Kwa maana Mungu ataogea you turn around God spoke to Moses when he turned around to see akabwa oh Moses you have done the best Kwa maana umegeuka uone it's me sio bush is Jehovah. Nisalimieni. Can I tell something? Ukiono mekame aka ishirini hujabadrika. Kuna ishara yako. Kuna uguzo flani. You never turned around to see. Umeangalia bus. Ikipita. Then it says in your heart. The Holy Ghost says, look at that bus. Yes. Look at it. Umeagalia nyumba. Bedroom siju is none. Look at that house. Kuna watu wagalia na interest. But in your soul, yes. That's the kind of building. When you look at it, do you know God cannot speak to you if you don't turn around to see? When you look at it, God says, such a building. T.L. Osborne akiwa kijana mdogo alienda crusade jamaa alikuwa na hubili kusema tu hivi watu kwa the whole stadium wana jaso guvu wana pona and the man was so old akasema God will you allow this old man to die with this anointing God said young boy hata kufa nae I transferred it to you na uta hubili kuliko ye ye Hallelujah. One day, Bonke, alikuwa crusade kubwa sana, South Africa. Very big crusade. Pastor Moja wetu, Apostolic Faith Mission, alikuwa kwa crusade na sani yake. Only to check around, the sun has disappeared. Kuangalia, can you imagine? How crusades are guarded. The boy, aka enter through protocol. Crusade kubwa. Bonke is Praying. People are getting healed. And the boy was here. A meshika throws a bonke. The boy was crying, speaking in tongues. And he said, Behold this. Mm, who has, who you take my mantle? Kijana. A meshika guya bonke. Kameaza kulia. Kanarena kwa luga. Hakaelewi. Hakasema, yes. Guvu imemuingia huyu. Ata kuwa mubili kama mimi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kuna tu ana interest. Huna interest. 
Huna! And you cannot see if you are not there. Elijah, Elijah, the Abuaji, come out the Queco Utapata. Come out the Queco. Could not want to just come on Sunday. You have no interest. Ya could you revival? Bishop Tagasa, what was there? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keshe wa mama litagazwa. What was God saying? Crusade kwa kubwa. I want to be there to see. You are always not there. You cannot turn around to see if you are not there. Number two. You can receive utter internal touch. Kama hakuna external exposure. Leo kiwe kwa jela. Ufugue mahali brother. Au tuchukue Karen. Eh? Tufungie pahali. Akaya miaka 20. It's very hard. Dani yake kwe na ukubwa. Because the internal. Eh? Is influenced by external. Nimeona jabo kubwa. Robo na kaniambia. Such. May God help us now. You need to hear great things. He hearing. You could not be able to see, but you hear great testimonies, great music, great things. Come on, you to praise. You hear great music. Some of that kind of singing that I would desire. If you don't have exposure, either ya kuona, au kusikia, au kusoma, some Time ni vingumu sana sauti ya dani ipate jia. Remember, this is an introduction of a topic in Aitoa. Make things happen. And finally, I just want to say this. If you read the same chapter, verse 7, in as imagine. Verse 7, what does it say? I have surely seen. Nimeona mateso yao. Hallelujah. Now, if you read verse 7, <coughs> and then we pray about it. Ah, yeah. In a summer evening. Bwana kasema, verse 7. Bwana kasema, hakika ni meaona mateso ya watu wangu walioko misri, nami ni mesikia kilio chao, kwa sababu ya sema mishu wao. Na yanjua maumivu yao. Nami ni meshu. Say after me, Nami ni meshuka. Iri ni waokoe. Ni wapandishe. Kutoka inchi ile. Hata inchi jema. Kisha pana. Inchi ijayo. Maziwa na asari. You need to detect the season. Make things happen. God is saying now. You could wear. You could have suffered so many years, but you can You cannot suffer indefinitely. Who is the car nyumba ya aibu indefinitely? Who is the car na matchosi na umeokoka miyakayote? Lazima one day u detect God has come to deliver me. And you must know now this is the end of my sorrow. This is the end of my tears. There should be a day, a season when you detect. Mungu ni nem to mikia ameshuka. Na nasema now. These people must. This person must get out. And God is saying, I'll take you to another land. Pana tenanzuri. It will be direct opposite of what you're experiencing now. And that's why God brought only one voice. Let my people go. Uh, you know, if you read some verses there, Uta Ona, right now, if you go up to if you go to Exodus or the chapter 5, verse 1, Bible says, Let my people go. Hallelujah. And the quake. You know, and the one be a loud. Let my people go. Ukieda, the same chapter, verse 30, chapter 5, verse 30, let my people go. Ukieda, the same chapter, chapter 
at chapter 8 anasema let my people go waende wanitumikie let my people go ili wapate kunitumikia there should be a voice that says time has come that you should go amen may the lord bless the church may the lord keep us now make things happen don't just stay there kuna mambo mungu anataka itedeke hautaka hivyo if you want to hear the part two of this message, nitaeda sasa, hiyo ni introduction. Hiyo, medical notes nyingi. That's, that's good. That's introduction. Sato taeda part, tutaanza sasa kuona. How do you make things happen? Because they should happen. Ukikame akayota, things are not happening. Then there's something wrong. Because God is God of making things happen. Now, wapendo wa sikizeni, hiyo diyo majia tukodani yake. Oh, sikia. I want to see things happening. Nataka nije nifugue nyumba yako sasa. Hey, hey, hey. Nikuhubiri hapa, ukaya nyumba kukodesha, ulitako yyo nyumba. There's something wrong somewhere. Hallelujah. Kuna tuku moja niyabia bisho, kuja uone, uoge na muka wagu. Ame katatu hamie ploti yetu, ati ikobali. Mama si uende. Hapana. Utaenda. Today, mahali wanaka. Ukitaka plot hapo. Ni milioni tano. Milioni sita. Nyumba zimejengo za maana. Na plot yao ni kubwa. Kuna watu ambao. They are not. Hawana roho ya liberation. Vile kitchen inaka. Umeipaka ragi. Ukaitwika plaster. Hayogeze kini kukwarusa Unabomoa pana Arafu na isi Kitchen yangu Nani ya futi tano Na futi ingine tatu Umeweka Machuma ingine hapo Ya juakari Wacha You need to be liberated Useme this is not right This is not right Na wapedo msidaganywe Tuko duniani sasa Na hatu takufia jagwani Let God take us to heaven When we are in Canaan Canaan is not in heaven, it's here Iji hiyo Amboi inaandiko hapo pana It's not heaven, it was on earth Lazi maikweze Kana by God's great, mutu wa mungu Afike pahari ya bapo, mungu wako Alionekana katika maisha yako Duniani hii Vizuri In case yeso takawia ukufe utaachia watoto wako na watu watakao paki nyuma ishara za matokeo ya imani let's start for prayer e bwana uninu kwai mi Kuna kitu I know in a tedek right now. Kama ulikuja ibada ya Yesu. Kama ulikuja ibada ya Yesu, there's a revolution. Kuna maisha ambao huta ya penda. Na embona atasema ni majira ya kuchukia hii. Na sio siyasa, na sio kelele, ni wakati ufaao wa liberation and favor. What I born student, I'll be praying for you second service, so you come back. Hakuna kwa kudamu, mna kufanya kwenye mba. Au nija. Mutakula viyasi kwa masusi. Nasa wanunuria. Masusi wana viyasi. Nasa manyi nyote mkure, biyu ni yangu. Eh, utakula sana. Eh, you should. Because we'll be praying for you. Why? We are commanding the blessing of this altar. The standard of this altar. We talk about 10,000 sita. We are talking about it is it is should be reflected in every business. Hakama mujui the more to naenda. Let me. I don't come to shika yi. Haita kiwi kanisa ipanuke. Kanisa igie maeneo mapia. Na wewe masomo yako, nyumba yako ubaki nyuma. Labda kuna connection umekataa kushika. Hasa kuna watu mimi huwa ata nyimu najua. 
Watu ambao wana msaha uchakacheka ovyo ovyo wakati Mungu anaongea wakati Mungu ana uh, ana you know I don't na watu ambao wana nia ingine you know I don't like that Nikisema bwana ameongea simple as that watu tunafanya kazi na watu head quarter they know when god speaks i stick to that i don't want maoni ingine apana if god has spoken tusijifanye let's move ili tusiwe na sauti bili you can't have two voices you can excel that way you can honor excel i always tell people any season has a prophecy prophecy for the season you need to know which it is because god cannot have two or three hallelujah you know i was telling people when i i i said njoni nilioba siku nyingi i remember that day ilikuwa siku yangu ya 50 ya fasting and god said to me i'm raising millionaires for the kingdom kingdom millionaires i told you somebody called me from texas i got be a bishop or something Ben Hinn is moving all over US. Akiabia watu. Bwana amemunenea. This exact word. God is raising millionaires for the kingdom. Ameanza kutangaza juu last month, last week. As our bishop, there are two prophets in US announcing exactly what God told you. Sasa kama msikimu tumeusi, simusikie msungu. Bwana tubariki. Baba tunakupenda. Uaminifu wako si wa kawaida. Umetukuka juu ya enzi na juu ya wote. Wema wako ni wa ajabu. Utukufu wako ni wa milele. Jina lako libarikiwe. Me I, I want to say this. God want to release. Mungu anaachilia sahi. Sahi. Majira ambao atakutendea mambo ambao umekuwa kisikia moni mwako. Kuna mambo umekuwa kihisi haujui tatendeka lini. God is starting to confirm them from today. Kama unajabu umekuwa kisense in your life. A great thing. A kingdom thing. Umekuwa kiona na mungu wangu kuna jabu hili. Nataka unia mkono yako. Kwa maana kuna nguvu ya kutimiza. Kuna haki. Kuna wema. Kuna Father, in the name of Jesus, Dada Ariye Nom Kono, Dugu Ariye Nom Kono, Nikama Vida Musa Ariyeuka Kuona. These are people who are turning aside to see. Now speak to them, O oh God. Speak to them, O oh God. Speak to them, O oh Father. Sababisha. Sababisha kutoke kuanzia leo kwa njia iliyo wazi jambo hili ambao miaka na miaka umewatajia in Jesus name uko hapa you are fighting against magojwa maumivu fulani inaokutesa ina mkono juu for healing pali ulipo kuna nguvu ya Mungu itakushukia kuna mkono wa Bwana utakuguza mali umegojeka. Kuna wema wa Bwana utatawala. Kuna confusion itaisha. I declare now you are healing. I declare the touch of healing. I declare the touch of healing now. In Jesus name. Holala bakataba bashakataba. There is a lady umekuwa na arthritis na ime affect Mugu wako wa kushoto. Unauma sana. Right now as I speak, check your mugu. God has healed you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In your family, kumekufa. Antienu waliaga last year. Kuna akazi na young lady amekufa this year. You've lost two ladies within two years. Na watu wenu hawana shuguri, but you sense this battle. Kuna laana na pigo frani in your family. It is true na uko kwa ibada hii. 
umekuwa ukingangana na hiyo roho na unasikia kana kwamba is so strong right now in Jesus name kataposoka rema kata wewe ambao kumetendeka hivyo ninasema nikiwa kwa madhabahu haya hiyo roho ya kifo premature death imesimamishwa haina haki tena umakasa sheketema Jesus 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 inua mikono yako miwili Right now kwa mikono yako nanena utendaji kazi nanena mafanikio nanena breakthrough nanena sasa weka mkono wa kulia juu ya kichwa chako na sasa in the name of Jesus ninaachilia nuru ya Mungu ninaachilia ukobozi ninaachilia majira ya Bwana naachilia uhuisho sio wa kawaida naachilia hekima isiyozuilika naachilia moto wa Bwana unaoteketesa uovu ukaingia kwa nafsi yako na kuanzia leo akili yako iamuke iamuke na nguvu iamuke na wisdom iamuke na upako iamuke na maono isiyozuilika from today prosper and occupy in Jesus name Amen. Tutafika hapo sasa. We just want to tell